leaders are calling for a new trial for American Indian movement leader Leonard Peltier. He is serving a life sentence in Leavenworth for killing two FBI agents. The Indians say the government fabricated evidence and that Peltier was unjustly convicted. The group is also trying to make us all aware of the ecology of Mother Earth. about um, what we're doing. I've been working with the Pelter Defense Committee for a little over a year now. And when I started working here, some of us decided that we needed to reawaken people uh, about Leonard's case. People on the reservations in the cities, towns, all across the country. And Leonard also stressed that we need to reawaken some of our own people to be more active in the struggle for our Indian rights. So we decided to do this in, in some way that we could bring attention, yet do it in a peaceful way. And Leonard suggested that we do it with horses, that use the four-legged, you know. And uh, so we decided to do a ride cross-country from Oregon to Washington, D.C. And the ride started last June the 1st, and it kind of grew bigger and it grew smaller and it went in different directions and stuff, but it set out doing the things that we set out to try to accomplish. And said dismount. They said they didn't have a right to be there. They said no, we have a right to be here just like everybody else. And the cop told them to dismount, so they just took off riding. Across the country? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so far it's been good. The police, even the policemen that uh, talk with us, although they're real adamant about the you know, laws, uh, you can kind of sense a, a personal uh, ecology of so this land. And this is Indian land we're on. It's a uh, gotaway uh, land. It rained a lot while we were riding, and upon arrival down here, we were immediately confronted by the police who wanted us to dismount off of our horses and gave us the impression that uh, they would proceed with uh, arrest or, or evicting us from the area through the park, and they pursued us, and then we rode up the street that had some barricades, which they couldn't get through in their cars right away, and then they got through that, and then we went over into another area that was fenced off, and they couldn't get in there with their cars, and and uh, then they sent some of their officials over to evict us from there, and we had a little ride around the park here. And we ended up having a, a long talk with them and some negotiation. And uh, they wanted to load us up and our horses and haul us away, but we refused to get dismount or allow our horses to be loaded up. And so eventually they agreed that we should have a ride. 
right to be here and that we had something legitimate to say and they became aware of the fact that we weren't violent, we didn't come here to do any violence or to disrupt.